Chucky B. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're gonna be looking at something new that I just picked up from Best Buy again. I'm telling you, Best Buy is taking all of my money. So what we have here is a my book from WD. I saw what WD stands for. I thought this, this company is called. It's like Western something, something like that. I don't know. I'll put it in the video. But yeah, this is a my book. Um, pretty much a external hard drive. Pretty much high capacity, complete backup. Four terabytes, um, WD backup, security, three years, ANS. What the heck is an ANS? Warranty? I don't know. This is my books. Um, there's some storage. Look on the back. So, auto backup and password protection to help safeguard all your photos, videos, and files. Videos is the number one reason why I got this guy. Um, but yeah, you can see. What it contains, desktop, hard drive, for Windows, software, boo, 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 for Mac, boo, 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 boo. USB 3.0 cable, AC adapter, quick install guide, that's pretty much it. Compatible to Windows 10, 8.7, or 7, and Mac OS, Hi Sierra, Sierra El Captain, which is cool. So it's compatible for Windows and Mac, which is well needed because I have a Mac and now I have Windows. So. Really, really well needed. Pretty much, um, you guys know that I make um, car meet videos on Grand Theft Auto and all of the car games, Grand Theft Auto's goodies. And um, I, before I had the computer, I used to store everything. I record on a laptop and I store everything on a laptop. Now, this has, oh man, was it 500, 500 gigs hard drive space or something like that? And I just don't want to. I used to record, edit, stream everything on the computer and I was just using it to its full potential and I just don't want to, you know, it has like what, 4 gigs of RAM, it's not made for what I was doing. It is a MacBook Pro 2012, but I want to give it a rest. Now I got this guy here, I also don't want to store everything on this computer as well too. Also, um, I love, um, cause I edit on, um, what the hell was it called? What was the Apple video thing they have? Um, iMovie, okay, there we go. I edit on iMovie, I love iMovie. Um, I tried Final Cut Pro. I love Final Cut Pro as well too, but I don't have the money to buy that program. So I edit on iMovie. And um, all the um, free editing software for Windows are kind of, I don't know, they're garbage to me. There's a, a, a lot of pros and cons, whatever. I'm sticking with iMovie, so. Um, when I record on here, um, I need to be able to grab the video files and put it on here. Now, I do have a thumb drive, which is, uh, what is it, 64 gigs or something like that. That, that, that. that guy cannot handle what I'm trying to do. Like I record a lot of videos, I stream, I do a lot of stuff that I just can't handle it. So what I'm gonna do is record on here, save it on the hard drive, take it from the hard drive and edit on the computer there pretty much so it's gonna go boom it's a boom so that's the whole purpose of this guy here also to store all my other stuff to photos you know videos like personal stuff so i find it hilarious that i'm talking about memory and spaces because i just ran out of memory just now recording this video that's why i have to cut it just now and i have to delete some stuff anyways that see that does just added on to why i need this so Let's, let me open this guy up, I'll unbox it, show you the goodies with it being unboxed, and then I'll hook it to the computer, and then we'll take a look at it. I am the type of person, um, when I need something, and there's like many different versions of it, I do so much research online, I go in the store, I take a look at it, before I make my purchase, but I do a lot of like online research though beforehand, before I even take a look at it, so... Before I even choose this one, there's so many out there to choose from. There's SSDs that's way faster than these that can um, grab, you know, you can upload and download onto it faster. I can transfer the videos off the my channel right here as well too. Also, 600 subscribers, so shout out to you guys. Got me at 600, I'm excited about that. A thousand is the next um, goal. But yeah, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. But back to this though. Um, SSDs are way faster than these regular external hard drives. 
and they're a little bit more portable as well too, but I'm not using this to be more portable because it's pretty much gonna stay here. Um, I know my desk look crazy with wires and stuff, but this is all temporary right now. Um, I'm just figuring stuff out and don't worry about that. This is not the final stage. Anyways, let's open this guy up and um, I looked up reviews. I looked up what people were saying about this guy. And I, this got a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of good reviews. And I've been reading, 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 reading. And this came out really nice. So I went in the store, read up a little bit more about it compared to what else was there. And four terabytes should be good for me. I don't need that. I think anything more than that is probably overkill for me. But then again, you know how technology is. The more we advance, the more space everything takes up. And next few years, four terabytes is going to be like 12 MB. 512 MB or something like that, like like thumb drives, pretty much. But anyways, the warehouse packages, they really, they look like a mini PS4, which is cool. Like the old PS4. That is interesting. Package real nice, though. Get the little plastic stuff. Let's take this guy out of there. Get these guys out the way. So, yeah, it's... It's a decent size, it's not too big. If I, you know, put it next to my PS4, you can get an idea. It's smaller than the Slim as well too. And if I put it next to my mouse, there you go, you get an idea how big it is. So if anyone that's interested in this, just wanna see how it looks, how it looks in person, um, this is a good comparison you can take a look at. So you have the my book all over it, and that's pretty much it. Like there's like no, no buttons and stuff. This is interesting. So you have your connectivity back here. So you get the 12 volt. That's that. What, what is this port called? Oh my god, this is a new port everybody using now. I don't, I don't know. I'll read about it. Anyways, so you get that. It's in the box, and then on the side, you get this little other box on the side here. Take that guy out. Don't take it out, just pull it to the side. So you have the, the uh, 3.0 USB port as well too. My, uh, I think my use my HDMI switcher come with the same end as well too. I wonder what this end is called, I gotta look that up. S, it's called SSD, I don't know. I gotta look into that. I get updated. So you have the power adapter, and that's it. And the little, can grab it. Little booklet as well too. So as all as always, what we usually do is take a look at the booklet first. So we got um, pretty much like a little picture showing you how it works. Plug into boom. Plug into boom. Plug into wall. And pretty much boom. This is cool. And then I hate booklets where it opens up like like a map. That's just a good one. I'm not even, not even take a look at that. It's not even attractive. Pretty much it's self-explanatory to how this works though. Maybe it's a little picture. Okay, so we got USB. Um, just pull this guy out. It's pretty much, this is like plugging in play. You know, you plug USB into your computer and then plug the, the, um, the my book into the outlet and boom. Throw that away, and then every really AC adapter. Just unwrap that. Then we're just gonna plug it in and take a look at it on the computer. Okay, so I just plugged it in. Setting up device right now, just popped up on the bottom. Oh my God, this looks like a mess. But like I said, my desk is usually never like this. I don't use the speakers, so I just threw them on there and plugged it in. 
Uh, I was watching some videos while I was editing as well too. So the last time I put it over there while I was editing. Right now I'm actually um, uploading the the mouse. Mouse unboxing stuff from school. Okay, so, and then look, boom, it just pops up like this and that's it. That's, it, that's easy. And then you just transfer over whatever you want in there, you know, pretty much. Um, my book is set up and ready to go, which is cool. I don't really have a video to to demonstrate how f f actually I do a video on mine. So let's do this. Let's. This is a Grand Turismo. Oh, I see. This is a video. I need. It's a Grand Turismo video. Let's throw that in there. I see how fast it is. God damn, this thing is slow as heck. So one thing about these, they're not the fastest. They have plenty of storage though, but they're definitely not the fastest. SSD is gonna be the fastest, but they do get really expensive if you're looking for SSD that can do four terabytes or two terabytes or something like that, more than a thousand gigs. Those get really pricey. And those are more portable as well too. But um, yeah, these are a lot slower, especially if you're using, I'm using, a, I might even use a USB 3.0 slot. I'm using a 2.0. Um, I should have plugged it in, in the 3.0 see how fast it is. Let's do that. Let's plug in 3.0 see how fast it is. Okay, so we have it plugged in my 3.0 slot. Let's drag this over here to really see edit. See how fast it is compared to the regular one. So this video I'm trying to transfer over is 11 gigs and it will take about 10 minutes to transfer it over. So like I said, it's not gonna be the fastest in the world. Speed 23 point, I'm doing 23.5 megabits per second pretty much. Which is not bad for you know what this is. I don't know the full specs on it to let you, it'll let you know what the transfer speeds are, but um, I'm using the 3.0 USB slot and it's looking real fast. You know, it's looking real fast compared to the regular 2.0 slot. But yeah, well, we're not gonna sit here and watch this for eight minutes. Just want to give you guys an idea of how long it'll take. So, oh, oh damn, the speed is going up and down. Oh, the speed is dropping. Damn. Oh my God. Oh, look, wait, nope, nope. Going right up. The max look like 30. I think 30, 30 megabits per second. Is it megabits or megabytes? I think mega, this capital MB is megabits. Oh man, I don't remember my, my computer stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm averaging like around 30, 23, 23 and a half. Yeah, it's a decent time, 10 minutes, just about. Um, like I said, I don't have the most crazy advanced computer in the world, and this is not the most advanced ex external hard drive in the world, but four terabytes, it'll work. Like 20%, so now it's seven minutes. All right, now we're on the Mac. We're gonna plug it up the computer. All right, so we plugged it into, it's very quiet too, by the way. Plug into my laptop now, and what we're gonna do is, I think this is, I think this, I don't remember, one of these is a USB 3. I don't remember, anyways. There we go. Pops up there. Do you want to use um? To, oh, so do you want to use my book uh, like time? Oh, so I can use a time machine with, with the um. I can use this as a time machine for that one, but nah, don't. I don't need to. I don't really have nothing on the Mac that I need to back up anyway. So, so it is able to edit. Let's see how this is the video that I transferred from the computer to it, so let's see how long this will take now. It's gonna take 50 years or something to watch. All right, so it took 10 minutes for me to put it from the from this computer to here. Now it's gonna take me about, I don't know, I think it was, it, at first it said 43 minutes, so I was about to say, God damn. But then it quickly just went, jump, dropped down to like 13 and 10, so it's like another 10 minutes pretty much, so. No, it's like, damn, this is faster. See, the Mac plays no games. So, 10 minutes to upload it, and that's a 12 gig video. Um, that's This video is probably about uh, one hour one hour and some change. So this is a long video, you know. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, transferring like 20 minute videos. So, if an hour of video is about 10 minutes, so probably about five, five minutes, you know. That's not bad for like, uh, you know, half an hour to 20 video, maybe five, six, seven minutes. I can take it over here to there. So in all together, you're looking at 20 minutes probably. But this is fast. I got six minutes left, you know, so tech, look at that, what the hell, this thing is fast as hell. So I think the USB 3.0 in here is way faster than my computer, that's crazy. 
And but that's a good thing though. So now when I do transfer the stuff over here, I know that's gonna transfer over here fast. So that's good. And then you guys can see the these are the the mouse and the um the new mouse that I got. I made a video for that. You should you should already seen these already because these are gonna come up before this video. But um, the mouse video and the keyboard video. I'm uploading those today. I look forty minutes. That's not bad. All right, so this video is exactly one hour and 18 minutes. So, you know, let's, let's see if it, yeah. Damn, my dude flew, flew past me. It takes 10 minutes for me to transfer 12 gigs from my computer to here and about five, six minutes to transfer to my computer. That, that's actually good. That's really, 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 really impressive. I wasn't even expecting it to be like zip, you know, one, two, three, because like I said, with my smaller videos, I'm pretty sure those is gonna it's, it's gonna be real fast as well. So, so that's actually really, really, really good. I do recommend this if you're looking to back something up. Uh, I'm not gonna use it as a, I may use it as a back. I don't know. I'm gonna see. Um, my main goal for is to store my videos, but I may use it as a backup as well too. But I recommend as a backup. I also recommend it if you're if you're doing if you have the same setup as me and you're you want to store your videos for I don't know for, for the future. This is, a, this is a good investment. Four terabytes, you know, 4,000 gigs. Um, that's a plenty of space and plenty of videos. And I know videos can get can get really big in size as well, to depend on what you're recording. Uh, our video is 12 gigs, you know, on, for one of my videos. But um, that's really, 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 really good. So I do recommend it if that's what you're looking for and external hard enough to do. It's not too big, like I said. This, this one is portable, but you probably want to keep this keep this with your setup but you if you can it is portable if anything if you want to transfer 12 gigs faster than 10 minutes i'll say get an ssd how much was this i don't remember like a hundred dollars or 120 either 90 100 or 120 i don't remember it's in that range though so it's not bad for four terabyte storage this is just another addition to my setup um i'm glad the time like i'm just impressed by the timing i thought it would have been way worse honestly but it's, it's not that bad at all uh, I'm gonna end it here. If you have any questions, concerns, you know, leave a comment below. Um, I can answer any questions, concerns. This is day one with using this. So I'll, if anything, I don't know, over a month or so, or so, I may mention, you know, okay, I like this, I don't like this, but so far I really like it. It looks good. Um, for my setup, I'm actually have this like I want to have it like like not even out in the open. Probably have it behind behind the desk or something like that. I don't know. For right now, all this wires and stuff is just gonna stay right here for now. Because once the graphics card come in, I slap that into the computer. Computer's not even gonna be there no more. So uh, I'll give you guys an update on the final um, um, setup when the graphics cards come in. And that's gonna be temporary as well too because I still gotta get a second monitor as well too. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope if you're looking to buy this, this video helped out as well too. Or for anyone out there that don't even realize they need something like this, I hope I helped out with you as well too. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. See you guys in the next video.